Hello, fellow homebodies. Welcome to my channel, Catskill Mountain Homebody. My name's Amy, and this is Mr. Chipper, who had to come up and say hello, because he's so friendly. Say hi, Chippy. This is my puggy. You are the baby. You gonna help mom? Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help mommy with her mission today? You know what I have to do? I'm gonna fix this drawer. All right, my original intro got lost in my awesome GoPro camera. So I had to do a new one today. All right, today's video is we're gonna organize a kitchen drawer. And I bought this bamboo organizer for wraps and kitchen storage bags, which I'm gonna show you in the video. Um, but this is the drawer, the top drawer, kitchen drawer that I'm gonna be organizing in today's video and the reason that I am doing that is because it's a little bit smoky outside here in the Catskill Mountains because of the Canadian wildfires. It's not horrible but I have asthma and so I don't want to be outside so I thought you know what I had or ordered this organizer I thought let's try it out. So let me show you a little the little haze outside so, so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's a little bit hazy outside. A little hazy. It's not crazy, but not the best for asthma. Before I start this video, I just want to say that I am not sponsored by this organizer company. This is just something that I personally decided to order. I will put the link for it in the description of the video, but again, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm not sponsored by any companies. I'm just showing you something that um, I thought would be useful for my home, and I actually think it, it worked out really, really well, and I'll show you that later on in the video, but it's I'm not sponsored by any company. All right, so let's get back to what I filmed yesterday. Okay, I have wiped out and cleaned the drawer. It's totally empty now, and here is all the crap that I pulled out that I need to go through and reorganize. All right, I'm gonna get my contact paper and I'm gonna start lining this drawer. eating now. I got some contact paper in the drawer. The drawer is cleaned. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I want to look at this drawer organizer now. I'm going to take it out of the box and see how it comes together. So let's unbox this. wrapped in this cellophane, in this plastic. I need to take that off and I want to read the directions. So let's pull off the plastic first. Okay, so these slide out, and then they have these slicers on them, 
So this is, I guess I'll put uh, saran wrap, plastic wrap on one side and tin foil on the other side. There are these sections for different size bags that I like to use. I use sandwich bags, snack bags, sport bags. And I don't even think I have any gallon bags right now, so that's okay. Other than this thank you card, there's no directions on here. Maybe the box has some directions? Let's see. This doesn't really have directions. I'm gonna have to figure it out on my own, I guess. Okay, let me go get my bags and we'll see how they fit in here. pretty well. Hi Chippy. Chippy wants to say hi. Oh, you want to sit on my lap? All right, well Chippy sits on my lap. Let's look at this organizer real quick. I really, really like the parts that are for the wraps. It really slices very well, the plastic wrap and the tin foil. I mean, it couldn't be any more perfect. I'm gonna keep that piece of tin foil. And it fits, again, I don't have that many sandwich or snack bags, I'm gonna need to get more. But it fits all of my bags very well. And it fits these, all of these foil rolls really well. So I'm very pleased with it. I think it's gonna make a big difference in the drawer. By the way, don't mind my vacuum. My Roomba, my Roomba is, working in the living room right now. All right, so let's put this back in the drawer and then I gotta figure out, I gotta go through my pile of junk and papers and start weeding out things I don't need. Sorry, the dog is acting up. So I'm going to, I know baby. Let's go through the pile of junk I pulled out of the drawer and we'll put this in the drawer and then we'll see if we can make the chipper and we'll see if we can make the drawer a little bit neater than it was before. Okay, so in order for you to be able to get these wraps out, you really need to stick this in the front of your drawer so that there's room to pull the wraps out and slice them. So I'm not gonna stick them in the back of the drawer. The back of the drawer I'll reserve for things like these barbecue tools. So let's start putting things back in the drawer. 
I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I have organized the chaos that was in this drawer. Amazing how much junk you can fit in your junk drawer. And we've only lived in this house about three years and that drawer was a huge hoard of trash and stuff I have to shred, old receipts. Um, I found some lotto lottery tickets from Christmas that we never, that won like a dollar, we never turned those in. These are coupons that are still good that I'm going to set aside to use, but let's, here's, let's look at the reveal. First of all, the dogs are very excited. All right, let me walk Scout and then we'll do the reveal of the drawer. Are you excited to reveal the neat drawer? Are you happy for mommy? Okay, I'm back from walking Scout. Up oh, there's my Roomba vacuuming the living room. This chipper. Let's look at the drawer now. You ready for the reveal? I need to get a little container for all these different keys we have. I'm going to do that later. Just a little square container for that. These are my oven mitts, my shopping list. I like to make written shopping lists when I go to the store. Barbecue tools are in the back, along with extra kitchen towels. I got my parchment paper here on the end, and then my saran wrap, my plastic wrap, and my tin foil, and all of my organized bags. It looks much better than it did before. I'll find a different place to put my coupons now. All right, I'm very happy to be done with organizing a kitchen drawer. And I think it does look so much better than it did before. I have a place for everything now. I know where everything is. It's not just all, it's not all just like thrown in the back of the drawer in a heap mess, heaping pile of mess. Now everything looks much more nice and neat. I know where everything is and I'm very happy. I'm very happy with this new organization. So I think it worked out pretty well. Thank you so much for joining me today for this kitchen drawer organization video. Now I have to go shred old receipts that we have in the drawer and continue to shelter from Canadian wildfire smoke, which is honestly not that bad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.